detectives. Welcome to Mystery Manor Week 2. This is Ann Pal. Did you like the mystery we solved last week? Do you remember which one it was? Yes! God is real. He's as real as you and me. Crazy, isn't it? I really want to discover this week's mystery. But before that, I want to introduce you to a new game that will help us memorize our Bible verse. Would you like to try it out with me? And after that, we will do our series song. Ready? Let me see your thumbs up. Yes. Let's play Memory Verse Mystery. Before we get started, listen carefully to our memory verse. But without faith, no one can please God. We must believe that God is real and that He rewards everyone who searches for Him. Hebrews 11.6 Now that you've heard the verse, everybody get on your feet to see if you can fill in the missing words. But without blank, no one can please God. Jog in place if you think the blank is faith, and jump if you think it's hope. But without faith, no one can please God. Let's keep going. We must blank that God is real. Twist if you think the blank is doubt, and wave your arms if you think it's belief. We must believe that God is real. All right, one last blank and that he rewards everyone who blank for him. Hebrews 11, 6. Duck down low if you think the blank is searches and reach up high if you think it's hides. And he rewards everyone who searches for him. Hebrews 11, 6. Great job playing our game. Now stay standing for a song. God made everything that I see. By his word this world came to be When I doubt I know he's with me I know, I know God made everything that I see By his word this world came to be When I doubt I know he's with me I know, I know My faith is in you I know that you are true I believe when I box. Of course. Another page from Grandpa Piff Puff's journal. September 12th. Some things in this world are very mysterious. There are many things that no one can fully explain. But today, I am reminded of one of the world's greatest mysteries of all. And I knew I just had to write it down. God is God and there is no one like him. 
He has always been, and He will always be. He knows everything, can do anything, and is everywhere all at once. God does not have a body like a person that we can see, but God is very real. One of the greatest mysteries is that God is three in one. He is one God made up of three different persons. God the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. Each of the three persons of God do different things, but they are all one God. We see God as three in one at the very beginning of the Bible when God created the world. God the Father spoke the world into existence, and God the Spirit watched above the deep, dark water. That is why, on the sixth day, God said, Let us make man to reflect our own image. Another way we know that God is three in one is through Jesus. When it was time for Jesus to come to earth, God the Father sent an angel to Mary with a special message. She would be the mother of Jesus, and He would be God's Son. So Jesus was born on earth as a person, just like us, but He was still God. Because He was God, Jesus lived a perfect life and never sinned or did anything wrong. Jesus walked and talked on earth to show us what God is really like and to die for the sins of all people. Today, God the Father is in heaven, watching over us, and is excited for us to join Him one day. Jesus is in heaven, sitting next to His Father, getting ready to come back to earth again someday. God's Holy Spirit is also in heaven, and is not limited to time or space which allows Him to work in our hearts each day to help us trust in Jesus. We can't fully understand the mystery of God being three in one, but we can know that God is real. God is God, and there is no one like Him. Everything changes all the time. Even us, we are different from yesterday and will be different tomorrow. God never changes. He is the beginning and the end. Awesome, right? And today's sister is truly amazing too. God is three in one. God, the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus, who is Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. Wow! Well, fellow detectives, let's practice again our memory verse. But without faith, no longer please God. We must believe that God is real and He rewards everyone who searches for Him. Hebrews 11, 6 Great job, detectives! See you next week to discover one more mystery. Bye!